Dumelang rala amakela moko daily teta on SABC One na kalibito kena Nicolet wanga mashile mwana wakwa bush pa Christmas pulane. Ika malamu kwa kina waga sandu katugu yena oto liga ngoli mle zanda o sis fortune matlala. And I'm such a speaker. Abantu wana bama poisa in pila abaz pila. Because as katines ningis no buga abazali. As kwa shuguti labazali ba nengane as well. We do hope that you enjoyed your human rights day. But le kholu mwaka daily tisar level la taba yaba ninyana baba nangba tswa di baleng di police officers. Kornabu how is it? What type of life are they actually living? And by our prepared and abandoned bar, book telling, Miss Miss Catunga, Hamburg Seven Zin, when they go up Sabuya, Usubens, I learned that was Lemta Ben or what to black or anything as soon as the Ian Zagalis financial year, got 2015 and 2016. I'm a poison out 79, Azula and Sabene on duty, and Gulo 79, uh, 40 percent to a corner, uh, Bulawanje, Natinje, Islanga Lane, and Abantu Abaning, uh, Gubab Sung after six Sale Abazo Abadana game over. You're not just Pega Kulugan Amtan, just to find out what is is the most Zibanjan if Ubabako a poise. You know, at the Ushu something with Abanya Bantama Poise of Abu and Jenna Bant instead of Abba Protect, but Babona Nati, Gatigat Abba Ding and Paratin. How much more in Ghana? That's what we talk about today. Sanborn and welcome to Teletta Tanokan Corner now for the studio. As Alan we said, Laco and Nicolette and Funuguza go and go to Ngombusis in Jelos of Ukuluma Nayogoti. Mogbona Guake, Guba Gutlain, go to Umzalua Kuma Poisa. Does that mean go to the protector and non or Uba victim and Pagatin? Sambonani, Ikamala Mufishiwe, Wangobeni, where it's a kind. So Umzalua Ko, Magui Poisa, Guna my challenges, Amani, Gakulu, and Pagatin. Ogo kalanje is either ums umzalwa koyena uba ganja ni imparatini mwaba amani amapoisa imparatini asenzela no mayin awa awa au tanda umparati man aya wa aya ushugu meza kwa wana amapoisa umparati ushugu meza ganja ni imparati mwaba msevenzo abo protecti umparati okay like asens example na ba abantu na ba ya sala ne angi asitumra bara bara mtalo mandi maiki okay asitumra bara bara ne bona bona amapoisa baso shulugu kutoa sala matais ba kiti miba yoshu pala abantu na lab at the end abantu na ba ya sala lela abana next abeke matais na wa pegi sometimes ukuti uba ni umuntu alright uba uba ni umuntu alrong ba ya bona gala abantu aba sala matais ba ya bona gala to Abasala Umrabara. Born a Mabatola e gangsta is Shalele la Paya, Sebaya attack. Okay. Eh, and the Aguko right law. Bacona Banga Kishimisa. Bacona and Yaki Bakishimisa. So what e gangsta by Yaki? I'm not understanding. Explain to me. Because isn't prevention better than cure? No, Yasmin Sutin. Yeah, you should see by Abonagal. Aba Abafana by Abonagal, Abafana Basto, Abasala, Willa Paya, which I want a lap, Basala. Amatazi, Abo Hunda, by Abonagala, Bahunt, Abo Hunda, by Abonagala, which I love Abafanaji, Abasalela, Ebola, Bafan, and Javela Basalila. So I'm a poison now, wow, now, wow, you are as good as in us burning at easy target. Okay. I think that's, you know, that's a sentiment that a lot of people have. But what we're asking today, Gorna, this is your parent. Yeah. You know, th this is your hero. Mm. And everybody out there is telling you, Gorna, Lumunda, and Shubmiz and Pagat. Yonan just be see pexi saga but as peg and social media goes on zonke jane kunta to kuma nu tabantu batini apa to sell alam charges buga bantuana bama poisa there's something coming in from upeg muzo oscar nkomos uta i'm a brother of a crime intelligence officer who died on line of duty on the 31st of march uh, we are sorry to hear about that uh, so um years back leaving behind the three months old yeah. baby girl and a five-year-old boy a very young wife as well the whole family was traumatized by Leonto. It's him receiving a pearl. And Jabulo, let's come see you. Jabulo, we were mentioning something of Guti. Guba in King, I want to know where poison. Over band to back tata zing in pimpi. I was no good. Uham no cool lega. Over zone. Let's keep in zone. Zubu. My born now. No good. Okay. We are born. Usu it all now. Usu umtwa. Usu it poison in Ghana as well. Okay. In that part, ne. It, it will be very bad to see Ube Umtana we poise was associated with the wrong with wrong peers mm. because if your pressure you a dominator is cutting his thing is a Guma townships mm. so once you involved Umtana we poise because you know Guti Abasalbako they deal with law mm. so when uh, if Uzoba um, Uzoba pressurized mm. by Ama peers work mm. only to find out Guti you end up in a state with by you don't know Guti mele u u wenzinja need to evade less or state less yeah. and uh, that's when you find yourself being a victim yeah. and guba challenges ukuba umntwana ephosi 
juri so, so, so you say ngi uti kwa kona nje kubanga nbako au wazo kulega gashe ngi uti mabe buga babu kuchu oh gonje lo babu waki ipoisa gonje uzo stay babu kutu what's happening and stuff like that yeah ngaso ganja alo because they don't reap ama benefits wa kuba umunga na wako oh. hands umunga na wepoisa because you find out kuti when izu ndo guwe they think mm. ziza galula mm than mm. them. For example, when I go maybe to police station, you city fire, yeah. the littlest things, mm. you city fire, okay, mm. right? Mm. As mm. 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 Right? As mm. 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 Guna ma packs ogo tu upo tu akuba ipoisa ogo kuba advantage nje kualo akugo tu kazi nwa kuno uye poisa mpagatin. Yeah, it's an advantage. Akumlele zibu. Thank you. I'm saying good thing. Ugubo uba no cousin no poison. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. Ganja. Yeah, because it's missing to Oya's protector and then and then like it's missing to protect Ganja. O protect Ganja. And then Nikai. Yeah. O protect away by what he like nagging anyone like who he like. Oh yes. yes. So, so you saying go by having a cousin go when this is easy because ikebeng they are saba as well. Uti ni sonde like ni so ni tola sen protected. Let's come to your side, Nicolette. Yeah, I mean, let's talk a little bit. Let's let's, let's bring in a bit of lighter note in terms of the conversation. How is it? Would you consider it? Because and it becomes a different conversation altogether. Mm. <laughs> To accept it because he and Papa are getting police, you know. Because this this thing is both sides, and then should also take the advantage of okay. Because my my father is a police, and then whatever can do it. Okay, so yeah. or when if she is the one who's cheating, we're not trying to accept as the partner because Papa are getting police, and you are scared. Exactly. What I'm touch is <laughs> it's an abuse. Yeah. Okay. What I'm touch is an abuse. Yeah. yeah. So when would you consider or would you tell me to Papa are getting police or Mama are getting police? All right, that's very, very interesting. But Kini, going back to you know the most uh, serious side of the conversation, yeah. we are finding out report 2012, 2013. You know, 115 police officers died. Mm. But what is most shocking yeah. is that only 49 of those, or 29 of those, as a matter of fact, died from you know being in the line of duty, and mm. the rest of them, it was all suicides. Get us our colleagues in the But let me come to you, Sister Mubani Kama, and if you look at what Nicolette was asking in the Bayok Chola as well. Abani Matba Kalu Gutama Poisa, if you turn on and look abuse our resources, for instance, send sugar in but we are sabotaging sugar and England to sabot against the Noma in Gutabo. Do you think our poisa sometimes they abuse our resources, estate? Um, San Bonani Kama Okani Sile, we are Etakani. Um, I do agree with our poisa, they sometimes abuse our resources. They abuse the power. For instance, Unespam Lomuntilona, and I'm afraid for Impilia, I'm good mangs of Shuana. Some become obsessive. Mm. And then Mangzo Shana, I know very well good Lumun since an spam, number one, Angang Bulala. Mbega impilamin no pen, Mbega impilo, ye family lamin no pen, as it seems lambum to Lena Bantuan, even Alabantuan to Lena Mbega impilia being no pen, good Angang Bulala. Bangens and no mayin, it seems like is in Desnings Abashupa. They bottle things up, and then basically once they explode, like Wonkumunt oversinking and like all people, like they become in danger. I'm Fugus Bosom, so when I go out to Lane Poise. Um, I don't think I can date a cop just for for the, for my sake. Okay. I I don't care what he um it provides security there and there. Yeah. But then I have to think of the future. Lomuntu sometimes I'm about sweet now. But then maybe five years down the line, then Lomuntu kalu vezu blue ane bag. No, it goes out like this one and say tola a point yaka as well. As I men say break in, must be break in. Into some say pelaga cool guys. Just to check check on my family. So go to go buy an abant kujan. Go buy one to another place. As I men now put out full circle on social media. Go to utin comment yaka. It's a good thing or bad thing. Or it's just okay. Get a fan of a young ke. Go buy one to another. Even one one lawyer or anything like that. As I men say break in. So we have this.
Welcome back to Daily Tets. And Zerul Babla Katawa Yaro Rana, Kaulungwana of a police officer, Opila Biangbo Pilobaro. On the couch, we're joined by the Morgans. We're joined by Simpiwe, who is the daughter, and Mom Daphne, who had, you know, your father was injured while in the line of duty, and this happened last year. So it's quite very recent. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank awesome you. stuff. Let's start with you, Simpiwe. How does it feel to be the child of a police officer? Are there even some of the perks? You know, what are, what are some of the nice things that you enjoy as a child of a police officer, but what are some of the things that actually, you know, you've got fear from that? I think that um, my dad has already separated his work and his family. Okay. So for me, I grew up as a normal child. Mm. He wasn't strict. He was just a normal dad, like every other kid out there. Yeah. But very lucky. Like yeah, but uh, let me look at the issue of, um, you know, Nasonki Skati, when Uba Baka Ipoisa, Aba Yabantuana Banu Saba Nji. Ipoisa Skule Sid Saba. Uba Baka Wawenga, Sajwa Mlapen Pagatin? No. He's a jolly person. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, actually, Legi Ile Noko as well. But also, um, Mama, Njenga uh, Sekai, um, one was saying, Guti, uh, Uf Uno Muntu Oye Poisa, Nifila protected, mm. Nga Guti, Kebengu, Aiva Msile, Uglalela, Launa Ma Poisa Kona. But Omu Muntu would change that and said, Baba, I'm, I'm a victim, it's cut and sneak, because Abanye Bafuna E, Pamza Ma Poisa. Mm. And Abanye Babon Guti, Lo Muntu Oye threat to the crime essence. What was the situation at home? Uh, Kulente Wisho Yomanje, I can say, Yes, we feel protected. Mm -hmm. Many houses were broken into, mm -hmm. but Ekaya, nothing happened like that. Mm -hmm. Because they knew, because there was an incident in Zagele before, mm -hmm. when Bebe Zabazo hijacked the car inside the yard, only mm -hmm. to find that they were not aware of and he has to, sh to kill some of them. Mm -hmm. And in, the in, that, in that incident, mm -hmm. They were not even our good teacher police mm. home. Mm. But in terms again, Uguti what I didn't like, in Linkia Corner, in Motobes or Hijacker a Jardin, mm. it's actually a car that, that was linked from where Ubaba a seven are Oh, okay. Wow. All right. So Simpia, how does this now make you feel? You you find out that this has happened to your dad. I mean, people talk about Hori. Sometimes it's always their last goodbyes because they're not sure whether their parent is going to come back. Is that the feeling that you had, you know, growing up, Hori? This has to be, this might be my last goodbye to my dad. Uh, and then this happens, there's an injury. How did it make you feel? So I had to make um, some adjustments because he came back home. He was, he, he was in coma for more than six months. Mm. He, he was left brain yeah. damaged. Yes. His left side is paralyzed. Mm. He can't talk. He's bedridden. Mm. What happened? What happened was um, he was called FNB mm. on duty. So there's another cop that bumped him while he was on a quad bike. Oh, okay. Oh. So that's what happened. Uh, and FNB Stadium? Yes. yes. All right. Okay. So, m Mama, this happens. Do you get a call from a fellow police are you getting a call from the hospital what's going through your mind uh, on that day 6th of May 2017 last year mm. he, he actually called me before the incident mm. At he went with his son mm. a stadium mm. and then he and then I think after 30 minutes mm. there's my neighbor who came and say uh, we are Funeka. Uti, we are Funeka, we are Landi Moto. And I was surprised to go to New Landi Moto. Why? And man figure up, but I would tell the Ingozi and man about mixes better just to go and check. Uguti, all right, you know. And then I took the car, drive straight to the hospital. Mang figures by telling him to learn a power shocked. They were begally milling a corn. And then, as I'm done, I shall go to his bed reading. I fought a battle with SAPS poison members. Mm. And it, it, it took seven months for them to give me attention. Mm. But I told myself, good I won't give up. Give up. Mm. And as badly they gave up on him. Now, when they decided because I remember I went and see the station commander. Mm. The station commander, what he, the assistant station commander, what he gave me, into Ugti, 
Abanazuelo, they don't care. No, we poison your sevenza. That's when back Nagayo. But Nasek Vele, something, believe you me, the, the families are suffering. I'm not talking about myself. Yeah. Mm. There's other experiences that I've that I, I know of mm. from other police women about mm. Sokolayo today. And Mangimboza, the only thing they can tell you, it's like Les Londa Unaso. They wrap a sort into mm. Moba Station Commander Wakwan, the assistant station commander Wakwan. Wang Chaluguti, Nimbuz Gutoke, what is the way forward now? As I saw. Mm. And then what is what are you guys doing in a case number? I want to have the case number. Mm. I want to know who to when Zagala in a case. And Wang Pendula Moguti, we cannot continue paying him as if he's coming to work like everybody else. Oh, no. That's what she said to me, the woman. Mm. And Menangati Guye, okay, now you are sitting on that seat. You think this is your house. And you thought he was your garden boy. Mm. No ways. Abereka. Eh, Abereka, he was on duty. You mm. can't tell me you cannot continue paying him as if he's, he, he's mm. coming to work like everybody else. Mm. And then the station command, I think, in Tavin came in. I think after five minutes we've spoken. And then yeah, Nawang Chaluguti, the person on Bampile, because I wanted to know what's happening in a case. Umuntom Chaisile is actually a young uh, woman who's starting his career. That's, in, that's the answer the that I got. Voice. Yes, that's, that's what I get mm. from them. And another thing, we're going to tell you, assistance. Mm. If you don't know anybody at the hot office, believe you me, you will never be assisted. They will send you from pillar oh, to okay, post. Okay, okay, but let, let, me, let me come to you. Uh, I'm sorry. Well. Mm. Do you think the, the reason why the case in they are trying to cover for each other? Yes, they are, because she's young and she's starting her career, mm. and my dad is old. So I feel as if they just sweep everything under the carpet just to protect somebody who's still needed in the workforce. Mm. Mm. And, and, and your life, how has it changed? Because I, I can mm. assume that your father was also one of the breadwinners in the family. You know, how has that changed your life? I had to adjust because seeing my mom this emotional does not yeah, sit well I with all of us. Yes. Mm. So she's now a single mother, not by choice, but mm. by the by circumstances. circumstances. Mm. Yeah. And, and then mama, before this, you know, this incident that happened, was there ever a time where you said, Le Papa, to discuss, this is my job, and uh, you know, if something like this is to happen, mm. family Yes, we did. Mm. We, 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 we had plans. most of the time, uh, mm. uh, and then he used to do so many things. We, we will discuss about it, but yeah. he, he, he will always tell me, Hore, don't guarantee anything mm. Mm. from SAPS. You mm. must know that. Even sure. even the the, the 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 police officers, baba ba, ba, who visit, but mm. they, they were even afraid to give me information. Mm. I I had to do my inv own investigations for what really happened, only to find that that's when I found out Hori was bombed by a police officer, mm. and then mm. and the the, the the station commander I was talking to, mm. they actually afraid to say, say mm. You must take it up. Go, mm. They were telling me, go to provincial. Mm. You can see Horebona, they cannot even deal with them. Mm. But, but mm. They, they use people to mm. do that. I think in the Soyans and Kambago, SAPS is also Penlela as well. Good progress. The case in Ganjan. But there's a comment coming in from Ofaith. Ofaith, it is very, it's hard uh, knowing the fact that uh, when your loved ones are leaves for work, his or her return is not guaranteed. Mm. Our government must do something. Criminals in South Africa have many rights. Uh, that must end. Mm. I don't know what Do you think Nampelo Gutama poise an assessment whereby I Kebengu is on a manung and Ugula or Nama poise? I summon separate in Sabu Athens.
Welcome back to the Daily Tetan. I'm Shadja Sabuga. But I want to know about my poison. I'm telling you, it's a less weapon. My poison will allow us to know so go. But people are going to know. But I'm going to prepare and is more expert than us. We're going to be checking your calls as well on 011339-1315. See you. We're going to be able to bat in about all the little things. But we're talking to uh, the Morgans and finding out a very sad story about Uguti Ubaba, Alimale, and then Kesia Kona in Abisala and Delegate. On the line right now, we do have a Brigadier Pet. Patrick Brigadier, welcome to Italy Tata. Hello, Brigadier. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, Brigadier? I'm well, I'm well, and how are you? We're no, good, we are good, you. we are good. Um, it's just a sad story that we just had right now from uh, Umama. We want to find out, Tuti, how far is the police with the case, Kamama, and trying to help uh, them uh, about the situation about Peganina? Thank you, sir. Uh, first and foremost, let me express our empathy to the incident that happened to the family. Mm -hmm. um, but I've just uh, checked uh, our records yep. as to what is happening in terms of the support that the SAPS is uh, extending to the family, particularly yes. the injured uh, member. Mm -hmm. um, maybe before I even go there, I, I think it's, it's, it's proper that I... I, I give this perspective to the public. The SAPS, um, being an organization that is uh, laden with injuries yeah. day in and day out, mm -hmm. we are very much aware of the nature of our business. Mm -hmm. And we, we give a serious preferential treatment mm -hmm. on members who sustain injuries while they are on the line of duty. But, but, don't but, take but, it but Brigadier, um, uh, the Morgans here, Babesho something, it took them seven months mm. for uh, the case to be given uh, attention. Why was the, uh, the, the dragging and everything uh, for, the, for, for that long? Okay, I will need to get specifics as to what kind of attention they are referring to. But from where I sit from, mm -hmm. I, I am aware that um, we have just, uh, let me put it this way, mm. when the incident happened, yeah. When, when there was this uh, 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 motorbike incident. Yes. They were, of course, hospitalized because it, it needed medical attention. Mm -hmm. That becomes a, a medical aid issue. Mm. Of course, we've got a, 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 an in-house medical scheme in the police. Mm -hmm. So at that time when the member was hospitalized, um, the medical aid uh, extended medical care to the members they even um, authorized uh, mm. home nursing upon discharge. It, but it, let me put perspective to that again. Mm. Yeah. Um, Paul Med was rendering that kind of a service mm. from a medical team perspective. However, when a member is injured in the police, mm. all medical bills are, as a matter of fact and, and, and policy, mm. covered by the SAPS. Uh, but we've got this relationship. All right, Between Brigadier, ourselves. can you give us two seconds so we can bring in Umama Daphne? Yeah. Umama Daphne, is, is what Brigadier is talking about exactly how it happened? Uh, oh, Brigadier is saying that when, when uh, uh, her husband Dam was discharged, yeah. right, yeah. from mm. the hospital. Yeah. Yes, it's true. There were, I had carers in, in the house who were helping me, mm. but they were dropped off like they didn't even know. Mm. Like, please, 12 o'clock, you must leave. Mm. You can't continue to work mm. because SAPS is not paying anymore. Okay. It's a very sad case, uh, Brigadier. I think what we can do right now, we, we, we have to drop it here and then we'll follow after the mm. show to make sure that uh, Umam Daphne, we are taller. Thank you very much. Before you drop, I can tell you that mm. we took over as the police. Mm -hmm. We did it from March. Mm -hmm. There is a, a home nursing approved by the SAPS, mm -hmm. and we are going to, to to pay to take the liability financially in terms of that home nursing. We'll okay, yeah, let's, let's we'll take, take it offline. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll take your word for it, and then we're gonna make sure Guti see I'll follow as well, mm -hmm. Mama, as it tells you. Thank you so much, Brigadier. Mama, do you, do you uh, have faith, Guti? Everything is gonna go on in the Uh, maybe for now, Mama, we are so manji for now because. And I felt good because I had a family member, mm -hmm. a, a national office. She is the one who was actually pestering them. They must follow the case. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, in the assistance I was not getting. Mm. Yes. 
Okay. All right. Okay. On the cut, we are going to talk to Zibuwa Ranala as well as Sodhonzo uh, Ranala. Welcome to Eat Daily Theater. And you, I'm sorry for butchering the names and, and saying <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a typical Zulu like that. Sometimes okay. my pronunciation is very bad. But let's come to a very sad issue that you're talking about, uh, about Bosisi. We're talking about a story whereby your mom, and I'm talking about your mom, and I'm talking about your mom, and I'm talking about your mom. How was that uh, your experience? Yan Lima Zaganjani as kids? So mm. school baba. She was a single parent. Mm. Mm. Right, she was about 24-7. Mm. So the moment when I reached one of the colour, ba men lean. Yo, I don't go to Zujia, especially when I'm in a child. I am. Or next explain the colour. Who could tell me? Ni na sota na. Rona zin tama ada buri na ne rasa kunuri. Rizu explain ni se an. So school onda ngamanda. But but before that happened, before any situation, I heard the dear mama. You know, and, and, and discuss there might come a day. Yes. I don't come back. Yes. And and how was she preparing you for that? But you know, like sometimes when she comes back from Whitney, yeah. but Dora Bachivia and tells us the stories, what, what happened to seen. yes, yes. Mm. what happened to day at work, uh, the stories, you know, the challenges that she came across, ne? Mm. and then mm -hmm. would see that you know what, as she goes out. Mm. It's like you have to prepare for the worst, mm. but you don't want to put that in your mind because mm. you can't say, but yeah, you have to it have it that is. faith, Yori, because you are children. Mm. She can't stop going to work since she's a breadwinner. Mm. And, and this is her job. Yeah. Mm. She, mm. But, but guys, let's, let's go back to the day um, where everything happened. Uh, how, how was it? Nazwaganjani and. Uh, the whole experience, I, I could only imagine what you know, feel like I'm mm. That day, it was, it was on the 9th of November. Mm. I was coming from work. Mm. I was the last person she called. Mm. Five Just minutes. five minutes before the incident. Mm. She was asking me to buy her earrings. Oh. Then, I was on her short run, I was waiting like I'm driving back home. What do I mean? Call the highway. I said no. And mm. when I tried to call her back, there was no response. Mm. I can't even explain to my sisters mm. since I'm the first born. Mm. I was just crying. Who could tell me? Who could tell me? I said, I can't. I don't know what I was until she died. No mm. police said she died. She said, wait, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. And you, did you, what type of support? Did you guys get? Because we've just heard from the Morgans that you know the support kind of comes. Yes. Yeah, get touch yes. and go. Yes, mm. like uh, during the process, the the service was very good, was excellent. Mm. But afterwards, mm. like maybe we can say months later. Yeah. I remember, we have a minor child. Yes. Mm. That child, it's like she's about to be a teen. Mm. So. We both can't be a parent of, of a teen. Mm. You know how teens are. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be more specific, even when you are disciplining them. Because mm. if not, they'll think, no, you're not my mother. Yes, even if they're not saying it out mm. loud. Like, but their behavior. But their behavior, because mm. you'll be warning about this mistake, mm. or don't do this, and then later on they do it. Mm. And then how do you sure. adjust then uh, if a breadwinner is uh, M. Slaben and the situation at home, how do you then start to structure the new structures as a car? How easy or hard is that? That was very hard because mm. you see it's me and her, mm. we're the eldest. So when it's me and her, mm. We, it's both of us in the house mm. Mm. and the minor child. Yeah. And so we have to it's like adjusting. We have mm -hmm. to, like, Zulariko sitting down and Explain. asking, is it right? Mm. Mm. Is it wrong? Mm. And she can say it's right, where mm. else it's wrong. She's mm. also in her 20s. Mm. So we can, be, we can say we're right, mm. where else we're wrong. Mm. Mama Daphne, how does a family like this adjust, especially Ekhonali mm. minor? How do you even begin to explain to a minor, Hore, the one parent that you've known mm. and have lived with is no more? Hey. This is difficult, I'm telling you, because now I'm mm. a teenager, mm. and I've got an, a nine-year-old is mm. 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 and if she was good, what is the problem? Mm. He always talk about his father, mm. because you know there's certain things about father, and 
I feel for them because mm. me na at least I'm trying to be strong for my kids. Mm. No baba and lean. Mm. If they don't have somebody mm. who can maybe accumulate mm. mm. or get counseling, even to get counseling from SAPS, it's a problem. Mm. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's it's a problem because Bazos and lean, they send a chaplain, they'll pray with you, the chaplain will tell you, oh, good TI. You are lucky because he's alive. Mm. So, Magasho Nile, what do they say? What does the chaplain say? Say to mm. them. Mm. Eh, okay. A psychologist in Nayo, they don't even provide. Mm. I, 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 I'm a social worker. Social workers are also human beings, mm. even though, but seven zilly SAPS now, but they are debriefing. You can tell if Benkulmane, social worker, when she comes to the house, Uguti Nayo, Utinga, it debriefing. She can't handle also tell you I've been there and there and there. Mm. So if they are kids and they are left alone, akuna psychologist, akuna social, social worker coming to see them, right, it's a problem. We do have a, so, a family psychologist, also one, Rona, just a bit about especially these kind of issues, but we just need to take a quick ad break. Okay. Guys, do join us after the ad break. Welcome back to Daily Tets and Sir Pabla Katabala Banyana Banamba to Adi Barkidi police officers and some of the experiences they go through yeah. when either a parent gets injured or you actually find yourself in a situation where Mama How, Papa How, what talk of fella because they were in the line of duty. You know, we've got Sitle on the line. Sitle, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good and how are you? Tell I'm good. I'm, I just have a comment. My brother um, was um, murdered. And uh, on line of duty during the Marikana massacre. Mm. Mm. Yes, and what the government and the community and the society at large does mm. is that they never look into what happens to our lives. Mm. Psychologically, it has traumatized my mother, myself, everyone. Mm. Because his pictures were all over social media and everything. He was mm. butchered mm. to death. Mm. And nothing gets done about that. I'm also married to a policeman who also get in, got injured on duty. Mm. Nothing got done about it. Mm. It's okay. like it hurts. It, it hurts the most that everyone just looks into their own side. Mm. That um, the robbers, everything, families, they got injured and everything. What about our emotions? Mm. Sife, exactly. tell us a little bit about, you know, especially in that Marikana case, there was issues or the police were wrong. You know, tell us how that affects you when you hear all the time these negative sentiments towards police. It, 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 it's really not fair because that's what people see on the media. That's what mm. the media tells them. But mm. the, the third thing is that my brother was on duty. Mm. He couldn't know that it, it was wrong for him to be on duty because they were told to come on duty. Mm. And then those people never never told the pang and they murdered him alive. Mm. Mm. They butchered him alive. And we saw pictures. We couldn't even recognize his face. And then it, it's fine so, because, mm. I mean, he's a policeman. But then what about us as a family? Mm. What about what we went through? It, it just, it, it's painful. And... That's fine because he's a police. It's really not. Sitle, 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 and it's not fine. I get come into mele a bulla just because of some seven zin. But say about a cool and a collier because it's not to have a soul on your honor. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sure. let's, let's come back to yeah. the couch and, and we, we talk about listen to his show, Sitle and Jenga Manj. One of the things as Balula, Guti, uh, it seems as if. Um, a police after no one cares about the family. That's like, yeah, I mean, he was doing his job or she was doing his job, but nobody cares about Abantu that Abagati Pila Nabula want. Do you feel the same thing? Yes. Yes. When the Chambang around contended and I do mean, even though in a case, I bet a very young girl, like Nandu Kwamba, so last week they say, no phone number to for Farah case. I'm sorry, I took a Farah case, file on a case. What's that? That's that from the police. Yes, yes. I did yes, call last the week Thursday, mm. and that's the response you got. Yes, I didn't watch a Ferrari case, but yeah. 5K. Mm. Sure. What should the, I do? After and that? Case is I mean, if, if the handled. police officer pick up the ca the, the file, mm. open yes. it, and yes. tell us how or far. Or do we Today is another Thursday. Yes, mm. I'm still waiting for the call. You? Sure. We also have uh, Miss Kathy Hendricks, who's uh, please can you pass down the um, the mic who's the CEO of the South African Police Education Trust. I mean, we, we're listening to Sithle, and, and she's having to resort to a point where she's saying, it's fine. Mm. 
you know, it, it's okay, he's a police officer. As if as you or are making an assumption that he chose that job. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you then prepare the family so that the family also understand that they can be psychologically also affected if this kind of thing happens? Thank you. Thank you, Nicolette. Mm. Um, I work for the South African Police Service Education mm. Trust. Mm. It's an initiative. Actually, the person who is the minister now, when he was National Commissioner Minister, mm. clearly, yes. he started the trust. Mm. And um, the Marikana issue, without going into any merits of mm. it, one of the children of the officers killed, Warrant Officer Moneni, mm. One of is one of our recipients of a bursary. Mm. Um, Godfrey, in spite of all the challenges, mm. he achieved 10 distinctions last year, Lovely. graduating with a journalism degree. Yeah. But I'm glad that there are young people here because it's young people like mm. this who we assist. Mm. I know, I feel very pained when I hear that people feel that they have been deserted. Mm. And uh, that we would even afterwards, we could probably try and, and just find out for the okay. colleagues, although I don't work directly with them. Mm. Okay. But from the trust, we give children, uh, the trust only started paying out in 2013. Mm. Okay. But so, to date, we have paid more than 800 bursaries to yeah. children. We are, we are a bit constrained because it's only for children of officers who've been killed mm. in the line of duty or on duty. So not injured. Mm. Not injured. For instance, like yeah. a, a Simpiwa whose dad is now brain That yes. I've, been, I've been listening to that. And as civilians, when we come and work there, we say, but why not all police? Mm. What about the ones who have committed suicide? Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, because it's a trust that's been registered with certain rules. Mm. But of course, we are dependent on uh, the largest of um, subs okay. who give a contribution, but we raise funds from businesses so that we could yeah. try and mm. spread the money around a bit more mm. and we're working towards that hopefully we could one day help everyone mm. kathy i want to jump in there i'm, I'm yeah. a bit confused by okay. by what you've just said you're saying the trust is governed by certain rules yeah. and one of those rules is saying simpiwe here cannot be taken to school because her father did not pass away uh, nicolette uh, regrettably it's a trust that was registered with the master of the high court mm. So, you know, I always say there's rules and there's logic. Mm. Logic would say I must help her. Mm. And uh, we do try and t twist the arms of the executive committee from time to time. Yeah. Because there's even a cutoff date. Mm. Uh, people who have died before November 2010, mm -hmm. we cannot assist those children. Sure. Uh, we, but we assist, yeah. so far we've assisted everyone. Um, well, the latest case we already... Um, checking on the families of the mm. five officers killed in the Eastern Cape. Sure. We know there are four it children yeah. amongst it the five officers. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Is, it is a very sad uh, uh, situation when you look at it, but I want to come in to you, uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse and Bert, um, who is an educational uh, psychologist. How much damage um, uh, could be done or, or if we just leave those kids without actually, I mean, give them counseling mm. after their parents have passed away? especially uh, the brutal killing of police that we see almost every day. I think it's so important that we can look at this because when we think about children, one of the most important parts is giving them an environment mm. where they feel safe and protected at home. Mm. And this is such an essential part of healthy development that when a parent is taken from them in such a violent way, mm. it can really disrupt that sense of trust mm. in the environment. Mm. And without helping them, they may grow up feeling betrayed by that environment and as if there is no one to protect them. Mm. And without taking this into consideration and without offering really, really important mental health services, mm. we may end up with a generation of children from police officers who aren't able to grow up into healthy adults. And hampering mm. the resentment. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And also just a lack of trust in government, a lack yeah. of trust in authorities. And that trauma can be lifelong. It's sure. a very sad one. Let me just come to Constable um, uh, John Mkwena as well. John, Nipiganenizim uh, Angel almost every day. Ugushale pants nomde no akukaza luguti kungenza luguti mau po manje manje unga busabu ya peg. And we kalaganja ni conversation etai finally. Yes. Uh, firstly, before I can answer that, 
Uh, the thing is, you know, hearing such stories mm. that have just been uh, explained right now is very heart wrenching. Being a policeman myself, mm. and the hard work that I put in, the dedication, mm. the passion that I put into the work that I do, yeah. mm. to hear such stories is very heart wrenching. But mm. uh, so far, my kids are still little. Mm -hmm. the, the oldest is actually is 13, two, they are twins, mm. they are 13, and the other one is 10, the other one is 4. So having to explain to them these things is, is very traumatic, but I haven't gone to that stage. Mm. Mm. So far, I, I've been telling them the good stories because I've had pretty much good success for the past years that I've been uh, being an investigator. Mm. So um, it's, it's my wife, the mm. person that actually I, I feel I, I'm more, much more concerned about mm. because mm. she's such, a, such an amazing person. She gives mm. me support and everything. But at the back of her mind, I can tell mm. that this person each and every single day when I leave mm. and go to work, what mm. she, how does she cope mm. because she she continues to pray for me yeah. she continues to, to call me to send me messages of encouragement mm. but having to hear such stories from the communities from the even the very police mm. that uh, the, our colleagues yeah it's, it's, it's very traumatic and mm. disheartening so but uh, as to answer your question uh, my man it's, it's very difficult it's all, all by prayers mm. that we are able to survive to go on each and every single day mm. but i don't have to think about death i mm. think about saving the community that is here that is each and everyone that is represented mm. here even the guys that are out there i'm about to save mm. that's all I, I i want to be seen as a protector mm. as, as a person that saves the community mm. not as a threat as other people have uh, actually alluded to earlier okay. on mm. okay and yeah. Constable okay. Mkwena is actually an award winner. Yeah. Mm. Now, a quick one before we go. There's something coming in from Ulaki Charles Nguanyote. Being a child of an officer is very painful because you just lose your parent in just a blink of an eye. It's been 25 years since my father was shot and killed. I was only five years uh, old when he died. Uh, but uh, until today, I still don't know which Abuba and Ababulala was album. Very sad situation. Mm. Someone said, break in, say, Abuya after this. It's like... I don't feel we are better. We close the whole day, there's an accident. Yeah. You want they, to cause this? This is how it looks like? No! You can't do that. If I take your you thing, touch you can do whatever. me. I don't care. In my face. You, I touch you because you don't want to comply. <laughs> African families are still trying to make sense of it all. Warrant Officer Zog Ombeni, Constable Sbongiseni Sandlana, and Constable Gosipendule Pongo were gunned down inside the police station. Meanwhile, Constable Zog Onjego and Constable Kohle Mateta were hijacked in their police vehicle and murdered. Their bodies were dumped next to a nearby high school. The Njeku family lost their breadwinner. The sixth victim, Fred Mpandeni, was gunned down by a fleeing suspect. For me, it was painful. And then I didn't believe it's my, it's my father. Because there was a time I tried to call his contact number. Because I always called him. But that time was tough love for me because it was for me. Welcome back to Daily Teta. Lento to get to be born and jing a man, jing government to say a cool now and jung a moon to jay as well. We do have a market so it we do have a constable John Mukwe now. He poisa a sort of glaga cool again and says good Utin Monoak, my babon international finalist, as well as Kathy, Miss Kathy Hendricks, and also U Richard Mamabolo. Guys, let me just quickly come to you, John. If in Bugama images and jing a lane, Utin Gwen and jing a poisa, Nano to Obize, Logum Sabins of Enza. Uh, it's very sad. Uh, as you can see uh, uh, from the visuals, mm. it's an attack on the police. Mm. An attack on the police is an attack on the state. Mm. So if you, are, you wake up very early in the, early in the morning mm. to go and protect and serve the, the inhabitants of, the South, of South Africa, mm. then you come across such things. I mean, it's, it's very sad. Mm. It's wrong in, in itself. And uh, we, can, we cannot expect this from the community that we serve. Mm. Do, do you think, um, John, uh, I would appreciate Umsebenze and Wenza? 
Yeah, more or less, it's 50-50. It's, it's mm. uh, some are not appreciating, some are appreciative. Mm. It, it based on knowledge, because those people that are in the know, they mm. support us. But those that do not know, that have been uh, in the wrong side of the law, they are the ones that are actually are perpetuating this negative image against mm. subs. Mm. So um, we need to take the good stories out there, mm. what the police are doing, <coughs> that uh, the successes that we have. Mm. We need to take it out there and show to, to the people that the police are working, the police are, are, are actually doing the good in the country that we are living in. Mm. Jesse Ann, why is the suicide rate so high amongst police officers? The trauma that they witness, mm. the trauma that they hear about, mm. the trauma that they may experience directly when you know, they're shot at or attacked. Mm. Then you think about the fact that they have to go home. Mm. They might have small children. Mm. They might not want to share that with small children because they don't want to traumatize their own children. Mm. They may want to protect their wives from it. Mm. They will not want to show weakness. They will want to prove that they are strong. Mm. So they will not talk to other people around it mm. because they won't want to be judged. Mm. There's often a huge stigma around mental health resources such as psychologists. Mm. People see them as being soft or mm. for men that aren't sort of strong enough to withstand it by themselves. Mm. So what you end up with is that police officers become isolated. Mm. They don't have an outlet. Okay. And, uh, uh, Mama Ball, uh, let me come to you as well with the equation that I find. Do you think we have a man who has a special attention, especially when it comes to counseling? Because we've seen mm. our numbers of our suicide, uh, as Uchesen was saying, they feel like they feel like I don't need counseling, I'm strong enough, I'm a man, and stuff like that. Mm. Look, uh, I think there are many reasons why some do not use the available pro programs within the SAPS. Mm. We've is? got what we call uh, employee assistance and programs mm -hmm. uh, that was recognized long ago I think back in 1996 by government because of the the uh, <coughs> rising levels of post-traumatic stress disorder mm -hmm. which is currently increasing of course and I think that uh, uh, part of the challenges around that has been that uh, most police officers would complain that uh, mm -hmm. there's lack of confidentiality mm -hmm. uh, they are not reliable in terms that uh, when you do uh, well, when you obviously the kind of work that they do, okay. when they are when they've got such challenges, uh, you would have an AEAP employee assistant mm. coming to see you just once, and they don't follow up on your case as well. Mm. That has been one of the demotivating factors. Mm. And of course, I think uh, within the SAPS, when you have to be promoted to a higher rank, mm. uh, part of the preconditions are that you need to be mentally and physically stable. So, mm. so if there's lack of confidentiality it then disadvantages you from uh, getting a senior position. How do you help the Morgans and, 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 and Bose Simola? How does the union step in to assist them? Okay, I just want to speak to what the SAPS has got in place. Mm. Firstly, I think with the case where, where you are injured at work and mm. that leads to a termination of duty mm. uh, in their case, uh, there's what you call uh, uh, injury on duty, it's part of the act. Yes. Uh, what it's supposed to do is to look into the conditions that uh, a member who of course would be injured at the time and cannot continue with their duty, mm. what they, how, how, has they, how has their lifestyle been, mm. uh, what about their independence, mm. uh, is it gonna their, their injury is it changing the life standards that they yeah. were living under uh, and obviously look into all those conditions and on the basis of any changes that would be on the basis of the injury yeah. uh, the state is supposed to compensate for that you know yeah. to ensure that uh, they maintain the kind of lifestyle that they would a quick one so a, a quick one because we have to to go uh, mm. miss katie uh, just in in closing how can we best uh, assist and help the police our job as the education trust we try as much as we can to assist the children, remembering that there's a human factor, there's a human story. Uh, there are children who are left behind. Um, we are often asked, uh, is the police uh, life of more value than an ordinary citizen? Okay, thank you very much. Because of this card, Timothy Silva, Lutle, Lolam, Shanji, Teli, Teti, Abuya, as well, Ngom Somlugo, 10.30, Guzo, Gosha, 11. Actually, it's, yeah, it's a C.A. Yeah, it's a C.A. Yeah, it's a C.A. So, 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 it's a C.A. So,